Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. M. Farouk Radwan is here and today's question is how to make someone think about you non-stop. When you get to know a person for the first time, probably you come off as a stranger and assuming that everything is normal, probably there will be no reason to make that person think about you once again. This is why we need to create some kind of a spark, some kind of an initial level of interest that would make the person think about you even for a little bit and then later on using few other techniques we can make the person think about you even more. To create this kind of a spark probably you just have to display one or more of your interesting traits. Generally if you show people some of your interesting traits such as self-confidence or ambition the person might think about you a little bit. However that's just general talk and not everybody's gonna be impressed by self-confidence and not everybody's gonna be impressed by ambition. This is why you need to understand the background of the person you're trying to impress. Once you understand what that person is lacking you will be able to do something that would make that person think about you. If for example you realize that that person lacks self-confidence then probably showing that you are confident is going to make you see much much more interesting to that person. If that person doesn't have ambition then probably showing that you are ambitious is going to make that person think about you even more. And so showing the person that you have something that they lack or showing the person that you have something that they value will probably make the person think about you a little bit and will make you seem a little bit special instead of just a stranger. In other words, understand the background of the person you're trying to impress so that you know exactly what kind of traits you need to show in order for them to start thinking about you. Assuming that you have done this successfully, we can move to step two which is making the person think about you even more. There is a psychological rule that says that people do not remember finished businesses but they remember unfinished businesses. This is why for example you only remember your shopping list before you make shopping but after you finish your shopping you probably do not remember your shopping list anymore simply because your mind discards this piece of information. In other words once you become a finished business people will not think about you but as you seem like an unfinished business people will think about you even more. To seem like an unfinished business you need to be confusing, you need to seem mysterious, you need not to show everything about yourself in the first few meetings, you need to give partial information about yourself so that you let the imagination of the other person think about you even more. If you displayed everything that you have and showed all of the cards in your hands you are going to seem less interesting and the person will not think about you. Give partial information however and the person will think about you more because you will seem much more mysterious. Another method to do the same exact thing is to confuse the person. Do not show the person that you are 100% into them. Do not show the person that you are deeply interested in them. Do not show your intentions 100%. Let the person become confused about your intentions a little bit. Let the person start wondering whether you like them or not. Let the person start wondering whether you approve them or not. All of those things will create lots of interesting ideas in the person's mind and they will think about you even more. In other words, be mysterious, confuse the person a little bit and they will think about you even more because you will seem like unfinished business. If you have done the previous two steps then it's time to move to step number three which is making the person think about you more and more. There is a psychological rule that says that once something becomes overly available it loses its interest, it becomes less interesting. If you became overly available, if you became available every single day, if you message the person all of the time then probably you will seem much less interesting. Whatever that becomes overly available to us becomes less interesting and we always want what we can't get. Once something seems less available, once something seems out of reach then it becomes much more interesting and so do not become overly available with the person you're trying to impress. Just become less available and show that you are hard to get. Once you do those things the person will think about you even more and more and more. Do those three techniques combined and the person will keep thinking about you non-stop. Finally, I want to say that all of the techniques described in this video are taken from my book How to Make Someone Fall in Love with You based on the psychology of falling in love. To get access to my book and the rest of my books on Amazon, just click on the link in the description section of that video. That was all for today's video. I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next video, please stay tuned. Please subscribe. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.